Hey everybody, it is the day of the release of Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology 3, and I'm sitting here with my copy. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, one of the things I want to just look at right now is the new integrated environment, meaning that Synchronous and what was known as Traditional have now been rolled into one. And this means that you get all of the tools from both environments regardless of how you're modeling your parts. So for example in this case I'm using the steering wheel which is a really handy synchronous tool to move um, parts in my assembly. And incidentally this assembly was all modeled using history techniques. So I can go and move my uh, slider here on my belt tensioner and then if I actually go and edit the slider I want to show you something else I can do. In here, you're going to notice that all the features I've modeled are listed under ordered. That means that they've been done using sketch-based uh, history ordered modeling. What I can do, though, is that I can go and pick on features and actually move them to synchronous. And what that means is that anything associated with that feature, I can adjust as easily as if it were synchronous. So, for example, uh, you see I pick on this. I'm going to unlock the dimension that was originally part of the sketch. And now I can move this um, face. You notice that Live Rules is going to pick up symmetry, which down here I can turn on or off. In this case, I just want to move this face. And notice that the slots come along with that because they are still sketch-driven. They are still ordered features. So I can move that over there. If I want to take a look at those slots, I can pick them up and edit the profile and you see that these are sketch driven so really we're getting the best of both worlds here I can type in maybe four inches and make that change what's nice about having uh, the odd synchronous feature within your part is that in an assembly you can then pick up on that face and get the uh, dimension that's associated with it and drive your part right from the assembly maybe I want that to be 18 um, inches. The other thing that's cool is that you do get a lot more freedom with synchronous. For example, I can use my steering wheel here to change the angle on that uh, face. Let's put it at minus 30 degrees. And then of course other parts in the assembly that have synchronous features we can uh, adjust them as well or use the relate command to very quickly uh, build some design intelligence. In this case I want this face to be concentric with that face and it'll move it over and line it up. So big changes here uh, in terms of how we're going to design um, using synchronous techniques combined with traditional ones.